Guys, there's only one thing more fun than hanging out at the best night in Southwest Florida. It's hanging out with this guy. Let's go, come and on. And Amy Lynn, Cat and Country, here we go. Let's go. Guys, we thought the best way to cover the biggest night in Southwest Florida is to see what it's like from Steve's perspective. How'd this year go? Amazing. Yeah? On all fronts. Now, you're just saying that because of the camera. No, right? I'm not saying that because of the camera. Look, it's fun. Yeah, I've only been there a few times, and I was with Steve, but it's the best night in Southwest Florida. All right, so now here we are. It's about 48 hours later. It's a little like the day after Christmas for you. <laughs> Is it like, like it's, it's over? Like, is it a little of that? You know, I, I can say this with all sincerity. The images of the people enjoying themselves and having a great time are etched in my mind forever. Four festivals in, I asked him, well, what are your favorite parts now? So we did those together, starting at the lobby of the Ritz-Carlton just before the festival began, featuring DJ Sinister, The Gin Blossoms, Little Big Town, and Dirk's Bentley. The, the pregame to me is, is is you know all about anticipation. It's all yeah. about it's all about what's what's to come. Then we see the guy from a little bit. Yeah, time. yeah, yeah. Awesome. He's a nice guy. Special person. Salt of the earth, which you know. I mean, you spend a little time with him, and that guy is chilling and relaxing in the middle of everybody, right up till showtime. It's like it's nothing. It was like an half hour before showtime, and he's still like eating chicken wings and having a cocktail, <laughs> cocktail. In, in around like the general public. Little Big Town, they got something really, really warm and fuzzy, homey. When four people start singing together, right? Yeah. You don't know what God gave four people on their voices, right? And when they sing together, and it sounds like that? It's angelic. They're really special. Steve's next favorite part is taking the ride from the Ritz-Carlton lobby over to the festival. It's already just getting started. I saw a line of people that went on for Ever. All I could think to myself was, I can't imagine if this is my idea. And there was just so much interest. This. What is it like to be you and go, I know it was a good idea. <laughs> Look at all these people. It's, it's a great question, but you don't know it was a good idea until the realization right, of, of the crowd arriving. So we get there. Yeah. And uh, man, what a buzz to be on that stage. That's what it's what all about. What a know. fun time to get to the stage. It's all starting to happen. And so we get out there and the, uh, Scott Hessel. Scott Hessel, yeah, drummer, Jim Blossoms, yeah. Awesome. He's, he's warming up and I come up behind him and I'm like, dude, is that fun? <laughs> he's, yeah. like, he's like, it's so much fun. Yeah, oh you yeah. Want. Whatever you want. Feeling good? I'm feeling good. Come on! Oh. Dirks comes on. This guy owns the stage. Oh, no question. Right? No question. Being he a is guy, a true performer. So being a guy who, who hires him. Yeah. Are you still impressed? With yeah. He's got the he's the whole package. He delivers. He's got he's got a little bit of the bad boy look. He's got the long hair. You, know, you can go up there and like be a wannabe, or you can be the real deal, and Dirks is the real deal. Best night ever. We also talked to DJ Sinister, Robin Wilson, lead singer of the Gin Blossoms, Dirks Bentley, and then came Steve's paper. say it's one of those rare moments where the dream was exceeded by the reality. The end product was as good or better than what I'd envisioned and daydreamed many years prior. Yeah. 
past is history. The future is mystery. But tonight is a gift because it's the present. I am